So yeah, so, okay, here's the story. The last time that we all saw Shorzy, the boys came up just short of glory in the last game with the suit. Nat said that they had to win, time to fold the team and pack it in, and never drop the puck again for the Bulldogs dressed in blue. But as Nat and Shorzy talked that night, something wasn't sitting right. To fold a team so full of fight who couldn't stand to lose, the last four games were something strange. Parts were added, rearranged. The Bulldogs, they were being changed into something new. Shorzy's plan was simple enough. Veteran presence, bringing it rough. Line full of natives, redundantly tough, so everybody knew. Now they're different than the team they had been. They running them up and filling them in. And never, ever losing again. That's what they meant to do. Back to the start where it went off the track. They poked the bear and the bear poked back. But the Blueberry Bulldogs are on the attack for Sorzy Season 2. And uh, Nat. Nat is uh, needing in, in need of a plumber to snake her pipes. Um, that will be uh, an interesting new... Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, Congratulations, Tanya. That's the line of this episode. <laughs> All I have to say about that trailer is that you should really not smoke in the forest. <laughs> with all the forest. You know, with all the forest fires. That was the takeaway. I was oh like, God. she's smoking hot and she's smoking. Oh, I think the forest is so going down and maybe she might Katie's be. Katie's the reason for, for all the fires this summer. <laughs> It all makes sense Katie, now. only love, Come only on. love, girl. Lead by example, oh. Pito. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, New York. I know. Gabe, you got all the smoke, and it was from Katie. Yeah, it was Katie. She was, it was like orange in Manhattan. Burning it down. <laughs> it was orange. She's oh my burning god. Burning it down. You shouldn't smoke in the forest, people. Come on, more. That was three years ago. Episode zero. That's the one that I've labeled. You can skip this. Before we in- reviewed any episode, before we interviewed any actor, <laughs> and we were like, "What are we doing here?" Victor, we like what's to going play on the in the world? Game with foreshadowing. Yeah. <laughs> Victor's like, maybe we should submit for some awards. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's all to say, I submitted for an award uh, this month, and we've been nominated by the Canadian Podcast Awards in the category of an outstanding film and television series. So, yes, uh, you know what. I'm going to pat our back a little bit here. Yeah, but it feels anyway, good. Victor, so, <laughs> Victor right. called it all, you know, who knew? And, and I love... is coming, Victor. Who yeah. knew? <laughs> Wendell Clark has my older brother over his head and <laughs> dunked him into a garbage can. What? So I don't know what he did or what he said, but one thing led to another, and uh, it was really satisfying because I don't, didn't get along with my brother, so right. it was really <laughs> fun to watch. So that's... that memory is a core memory for me now, yeah. uh, watching Wendell Clark dunk my brother in a garbage can. So Nice. Thank you guys for all, all the comments. I mean, you know, even uh, Edward.Bodie for hate listening. Thank you for listening. I mean, uh, download's <laughs> a download, and you keep on listening, so... Uh, hey, I don't mind having different properties around the world that I can live. So, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm what the fuck here. does that mean, Victor? <laughs> uh, living rent free. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Um, uh, what was your question? I was just about the cold open. How did you enjoy the yeah. cold open? Oh, uh, so I, think, I think I enjoyed it the way everybody enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Very good framing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Is that, is that appropriate? <laughs> yes, that's perfect, Victor. That's a perfect Victor response. Uh, I had a laugh, though, when I did my rewatch uh, mm-hmm. today. I was do, trying to get in one last rewatch, and I, I put it on. And my, my kids were in a, somewhere else in the house, so I thought. Mm-hmm. And then right as the door opens and Nat's standing there, mm-hmm. my 10-year-old walks in and goes, Whoa! It turns around and like runs out of the room. I'm like, like what are you watching? Dad's watching like, porn oh, again. Oh yeah, sorry, bud. Again. <laughs> again. So, uh, well, that was fun. Good parenting on my part today. But, I mean, he, Whoa. he got to he got to enjoy it. That's gonna yeah. be the memory he yeah. takes with him to adulthood. Yeah. This is what life. Dad does every Thursday. <laughs> when Dad says he's doing homework, yeah. you'll yeah. never guess what my dad was watching yesterday. Yeah. Studying. It's the best studying. I love yeah, my stu- homework. Studying is such a great gig here. Yeah. 
Dennis, how have you been, bud? Really good. Um, oh, I'm no longer at risk of redundancy. Oh, congrats. Is that because you've been made redundant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's two ways you could look at that, Steve. Yeah, that's eh? true, yeah. <laughs> Loving the optimism there. Uh, no, they... <laughs> Being in the casino and watching some of these people, like this one woman, she opened her purse up and pulled out $2,000 in $100 bills to play blackjack. And she just you know, threw it on the table like it was nothing. And, and it was crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. And then Tanya turns to me and said, remember when we used to come here with our GST checks? You know, <laughs> We totally did. <laughs> like, that was a fucking D-gen move right there. <laughs> totally I, love, I love that Andrew's Canadian. He's laughing his ass off because he knows exactly <laughs> what, what I'm talking about. <laughs> It was sixty-six dollars, sixty-six dollars yeah. in GST check, that, and it was like, well, we've already spent it. Shorzy's standing there with this ridiculously orange and really bad spray job because he's missing parts on his <laughs> neck and his ears are still white and his, around his mouth, like it. But his she, junk was orange too, so yeah. you can take so, uh, comfort in that. He went as far as doing his junk, but he missed some obvious spots on his face. Um, but he went full Cheeto face there, and uh, you got to admire, I guess, the attention to detail. We got, you know, uh, um, what's his name? N- not Toucan Sam. Uh, Hitchcock. Um, <laughs> Toucan <laughs> Sam what? is what you went with. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten, what the ten fuck? Hitchcock. <laughs> you know, to, God. To Toucan <laughs> Sam. <laughs> The actual Tiara, you on. actually got you. You actually understood that. I'm I'm surprised. I think you broke I thought you were me talking, a little bit. Oh my though. god! I thought you were talking about being sexy. Oh no! <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, <laughs> right, Dean. Welcome to my world, Dean. Welcome. <laughs> I understood it because I do that same thing a lot. Yeah, See, that's why you. Dean's like, oh, oh man. <laughs>